Hey guys, this is Dave. This is Mike. And we're, we're the, the Game, Game & Watch, Watch Bros. Bros. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for checking out another one of our unboxing videos. Today we're going to be unboxing some of the, I guess, exclusive items from the Resident Evil 2 Remake Collector's Edition. Uh, one of them's from the EU Collector's Edition, and one is just a collector's item released, I believe, by GameStop. Uh, I'm not quite sure because I picked it up off of eBay when I saw it, but uh, definitely some cool collector's items that we're going to show you. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start over here with the wooden box that's not actually wooden. So, yeah, like you said, uh, I like the way it looks like it's wood grain and everything like an actual wooden box. Then you got the, the four keys. This is obviously the keys. Um, it would have been cool if it was wood, but you know, that's probably cost ineffective. So opening it up, you are immediately greeted by the uh, spade key, the diamond key, the heart key, the club key. Now in this one, we've got the badge that doesn't come with the keys, but it, also, it does come with the European Collector's Edition. This badge right here. Uh, it's the Made in Heaven badge, which is Chris's and Claire's thing from their jackets. It's, you know, it's their good luck charm, essentially. Exactly. Uh, the keys are, if I can get them out here, they're full metal. They are you know, about the size of a key. They're actually, each of them are their own cut. So it, it makes it look like they are different keys. And they are like a, a acrylic paint over kind of beveled or multi-layered metal. And then it's got a clear over, a clear coat over it. They're very sturdy keys. Feels like they're solid. So you don't have to worry about snapping them. I'm not going to apply that much force because they are too expensive to do that. But that's the spade. Then you got the diamond key. You've got the heart key. And then you've got the club key. What I also like about these keys is they have holes cut into them. So if you were like, if they were actually at a police station, they could be on a key ring. I don't think any collector is going to put these things on a key ring because they're bigger than a household key and it would be crazy to do so. Not unless they decided to put each single one on an individual key ring for displaying purposes. Right. So you could hang them up and display them facing the right direction. Display reasons, that's a different story. Now the badge is a single post, so it's something you could wear and like... It's like a lapel sure. pin. A lapel pin, that's what they call it. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. It's made in heaven, it's got the angel and all that. Um, but these are the keys from the, the raccoon police department. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Mike, but aren't the ends of the keys all the same key? Well, if you were listening, I said earlier, they are different cuts. They are different shapes. So that each key looks like it could unlock its own lock. You can tell how they're, they're each different. You know, their teeth are different. So no two one of these is the same as any of the other ones have their own spot for the box. Uh, another thing for like displaying that I don't really like, it's kind of hard to see them sitting down in this box like that. As you can probably tell, my hand out of the way. So you're gonna want to display it kind of like this, but then with it sitting up like that, the lid wants to fall. You can't display it like that. So without jury rigging some kind of uh, contraption to display these keys. You know, you're kind of SOL well, as far as that goes. But, that is the keys from the European collection, or collector's edition of Resident Evil 2. 
and the Resident Evil yeah. 2 Claire and Claire, Pen. which is also in the European Collector's Edition remake. And then, like I was saying, I picked this up from eBay. I believe it was released by GameStop, but this is a Collector's Edition Resident Evil 2 badge. Now, um, this is the Stars badge. This is a badge worn by the uh, special team. Special Tactics and Rescue Squad. Right. That was sent to investigate uh, in the first game. Now, right off the bat, the first thing I love about this is the badge is metal. Completely metal. It's heavy. Seven solid heavy, like Mark said. It's got two pins in the back. So you could pin it to, like, a shirt or a jacket or something. And get charged with impersonating a police right. officer. Do not wear this out and act like a police officer. Because they will charge you, and it is a felony. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, another thing I don't like about this pen is that it is smaller than an actual bag. Now, they probably did that Gee, to no. prevent people from wearing it and acting like police officers. But, right. with that being said, uh, it's, it's great detail. It says stars up here. It also has the STARS logo. Down here it says POLICE. And then at the very bottom, it has what STARS stands for, which is Special Tactics and uh, Rescue Service. See? So Mike was absolutely right. Now, this thing is solid and thick. Probably it is an eighth inch. definitely heavy duty. So if you were to drop this, or, you know, somewhere to knock it off, not a problem, because this is a heavy-duty collectible item. Now, I assume it's probably like a, a brass or something, or... Probably. So it's not a fairly dense metal, it's not, you know, hard. So if you hit it hard enough, you will bend it, or scratch it. Absolutely, but as thick as but, this is... Is you would probably have to try pretty hardcore right. to bend this thing. Now it does come with this nice little box. It says welcome to the RPD. It says RPD, and then down here, like Mike says, says welcome to the Raccoon Police, which is kind of ironic. It's signifying like a, a rookie's badge, which is kind of weird because this is a Stars badge. Stars is the elite of the police force. It's kind of swapped. So I don't know why uh, they would have done a Stars badge uh, for kind of like a rookie badge. You think they would have done a, a standard RPD badge, uh, which is a raccoon police department. But I love the fact that they chose the Stars edition. Now, there is two holes in here. Uh, they are kind of damaged, I got it that way, that you could put the two pins into, so it's easy to display. It's got a nice little mural here. Of the lobby. Of the lobby of the police department. Now, is that the fresh lobby, or is that, you know, from the in-game where it looks like it's kind of stuff cluttered everywhere? Uh, no, this is a fresh lobby. Uh, it is from the remake, you can tell, because the original, uh, there's a fountain here in front of the statue. Uh, this one, it does not have that fountain. It's got, it's got the desk. And you can display it like such. Unlike the keys, where you, you know you have to find some way to hold it up or hold the door open. This, you can just hold it like this and have the door open like such. You get the beautiful mural, mural the badge, and then of course you've got your beautiful keys over here. So yeah, all in all, I'm going to have to give uh, the badge two thumbs up. Mike gives it two thumbs up. So the Game & Watch Bros gives the Collector's Edition badge from GameStop four thumbs up. And then as far as the keys, I'm going to have to give that one two thumbs up. 
Too solid. Mike gives it two thumbs up, so the Game & Watch Brothers give the Collector's EU Edition four thumbs up. Now, I would give this five thumbs up if it had a better case. Mm, actually would. You know, maybe a wooden case, maybe a glass display, or maybe some way to maybe pull this up and pull the styrofoam up. Something to make it easier to display. But as it is, you'll have to find some way to rig it to hold it open, and then you have to find one some way to weight it back, because if you have this open, it's going to pull it forward like such. So it is uh, definitely a challenge to display the keys, but uh, a, a challenge I find uh, that I will willingly accept with this wonderful item added to our collection. So that is our collector's edition to add to our Resident Evil collection up here. And we want to thank you for watching with us. Please stay, stu stay tuned for other unboxings that we've got coming to y'all. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. We hope you enjoyed our video. And if you did, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons. If you want to see more unboxing videos, click the link in the top right hand, and it'll take you to the rest of our unboxing videos. If you want to see more Game & Watch Pros, but you're not sure what you're in the mood to watch, well guess what, YouTube has a recommendation just for you in the bottom left hand corner. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. So as always, thanks for playing with us.